Rezó dos minutos. So of. Spirit of Wolf of. Spirit of Wolf. Levi Fadding Levi Fadding Ni un member. Ni un member. Ni un member.
2, 1. He's right here, up on this top part. But you can tag both of those guards and he won't aggro. Okay. When it comes to FTing Master the Guard, you basically just want to run straight up and just jab him from here. Or hit him with a net or whatever, you know. Notice how these mobs are all splitting, guys? That's because pathing nodes in here are really, really messed up. So, there's all this, this randomness. When you start running around, mobs will start glitching back and forth and everything. So it makes it really dangerous. If you get too far ahead of your kite, they're going to end up um, coming at you from a different direction. Uh, and it's going to hurt. Are there any casters for Master of the Guard or Protein? Uh, no. There aren't. So it's much, much safer. You don't get casters until you start going up into the library, which is up into the right here, which is towards Master of the Guard, is this way, up into the right. Final Arbiter. Sorry, yeah, Final Arbiter. Progenitor is this way, if you've never been to him. Could you pick up this other stuff into your kite? The progenitor stuff, like just the doorway. Did mobs and stuff. So for progenitor FTE, you have to get to someone, you have to kite all this courtyard and then someone else goes up to tag him. Or does the one person just charge up there for it? So what I do is I FD past the first mob. You can kind of run around the other mobs um, in the courtyard. Um, if you aggro them, just, just, just do the least you can do to get hit. When it comes to this one right here, this, this guy that's right here, if you want to get past him, you can run to here and then sneak if you're being, if you have like a lot of time and you can just walk right past him. I just lost Sal. Um, and you just walk right past him. But I just, if I'm in a rush and that mob's there, I'll just DA and just run straight up. Uh, this is Prague. Let's see if there's anything behind this door. There's always a mob in front of the door. There's sometimes a mob that passes behind the door. Um, 
and through this room right here is where Prog spawns. Let me open it and you guys can see in. See those old little teeny sentries? Um, those newly created sentries can actually be charmed by enchanters, so that's how back when they first started doing this, they would charm those and have a lot more DPS. Uh, we never even have a clip enchanter for Tash, but anyways, um, that's where Prog spawns in there. So I just DA and just, just balls out, run straight up, get aggro on him, and then when I'm running out, when DA drops, I'll hit Void Dance, and then just run through the train. And then anyways, once you run, once you run down here and you're in the courtyard, um, you're going to have a tagger that's going to be standing um, kind of anywhere in the courtyard where he's not getting aggro, and he just needs to tag it off and run it back in. Uh, kind of an important thing for tagging is, again, it's the same thing with glitching. You don't want to get too far ahead of the mob. So when FA is coming down, he'll be coming down this big ramp right here. And if you tag him in the whole train will usually be coming down before him. And if you tag him when he's up here, and then you just run as fast as you can, he'll start glitching. So he'll do this, he'll do this and then he'll come back, and then he'll just sit there and he'll bounce there indefinitely. And the problem with that is if anybody's frapsing it, we can get called for a stall, right? He can't he can't stop his movement for 10 seconds and just glitch back and forth here. Um, so we'll have to drop the mob and concede. So you wanna make sure to tag it, like when he gets lower, just basically when he's at the bottom of this ramp, and then just kind of run like ahead of him and then just run him in, and the kiter just needs to try and stay alive as long as possible. But yeah, this is how I do it. I just kite around in this middle part of the room and um, just run in circles. And then when FA is coming in, you just want to get away from that side, so you don't want to aggro the casters, because that's pretty much instant death. Um, in terms of FA, after you get FT, uh, you're probably not going to get FT, it's usually going to be the cleric bots or someone with gate, but once you secondary them, you're going to come out those doors, you don't want to run around a bunch because that'll make FA glitch again, like he'll literally just stay down there forever, we've been waiting for 30 minutes for him to come up before. You can come to this corner, and you can either, you can shrink up, or you can uh, sit down. Right here where I am. And you can basically see the whole, like, the two, two or three levels of staircases. Uh, the reason I prefer Shrink is if you sit down and the kite comes by, you're gonna get sit aggro, and then when the kite runs over you, it's gonna, it's gonna destroy you. But if you don't have aggro on the kite at all, which you shouldn't if you're the person who secondary the F tier, just basically use a shrink pot, never sit down, and then just sit here and you can just look through the wall and the kite can just run right on top of you and won't attack you. Um, anyways, you'll see you'll see him coming up this long spiral staircase, and then once it's at the top level, you know he's going to be probably about a minute or two before he gets up. Uh, when that occurs, you can kind of run over here. You can kind of watch either through the wall if you're shrunk or just like this and you can see when they start coming out the door and again there'll be casters and mob they're wizards so you're gonna get ice calm they're gonna try and root you're gonna try and stun you so the trick is just never let them get in range so once you see them start coming out of there what I do is I run, I run across here before they get in range of casting. You can run all the way over here. You can probably do this even before.
or they so you can actually just probably come over here after you see them coming up the staircase and wait here uh, they're all gonna come down that ramp the guy's gonna tag them when he gets to the bottom of the ramp and start running towards the door what you can do is you can just wait and then once they start getting close you then run over here and kind of dodge get around this corner basically just do everything you can to stay out of line of sight uh, and then eventually you can just uh, obviously flop them um, but basically you just want to give your tagger enough space so fa is getting around this corner and he's going to be able to flop and the rampage is going to be able to be established before any uh nonsense occurs uh but yeah kiter basically just needs to stay alive once you have it like this it's pretty safe unless it splits Yeah. FA comes from up here as Kels is saying in guild chat. Uh, and back through there is the library. Oh shit, Kels, did you drop the kite? They all came at me for some reason. Okay, so now, guys. If you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah, everyone's on out. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that's that's the general walkthrough. If you ever have any questions, uh, plenty of people can answer them. But yeah, that's pretty easy. Levi Fading. It looks like they're on you, Kells. Levi Fading. I cleared aggro. Anyways, yeah. So that's that's that. But yeah, basically just tag him in, and once don't zone whenever you tag something, and that's what rogues generally will probably be uh, tagging more likely um, than kiting. Kiting is pretty dangerous. It's nice to have void dance and things like that. But um, if you tag and you're bringing it in again, don't get too far ahead of it. But then once it comes in, basically don't zone out until the tank mallets the mob, but once he does that, you just immediately zone out. Uh, we've had taggers uh, zone out early and drop it right on type of aftermath, uh, so that's been that's been pretty sweet to concede right there. I think that was FA too, like we got it all the way up clean and then we just like dropped it right on top of aftermath and had to concede. It was a depressing day. stuff it's helpful we'll probably do like a real training session someday a lot of new people are getting keyed like a real like during the hours when people are awake so are we gonna log in uh, lemon jelly now uh lemon jelly to uh to what i mean just leave it up oh to to fake them out yeah, yeah, we could do that, I guess. I don't know if anyone wants to do that. I can... Yeah, I can do that for a couple hours. Sure, sure. yeah. Just AFK, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. You've, uh, you've, you've tracked down there before, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just kind of make it look like it's obvious that you're staring at the spot. 